Hi guys. I'm Christine Turner, aka Butter Dash, and this is Off the Hook with Butter Dash. Um, today is Monday, the 10th, and um, today's topic is going to be about knowing where you come from. Um, I will pretty sure everybody already knows I live in New York, and a lot of times people ask me where I'm from because I have an accent. And um, I say Ohio because obviously I'm from Cleveland, and you know that's what I thought they like, meant when they asked you like where are you from. So I now know that when people ask you where you're from, they mean like where are you from like originally. And for a long time, I truly never knew like where I was from. I thought I was just African American like everyone else, and you know it is what it is. But you know a lot of things just like, really didn't connect. It was like started doing more research or whatever the case may be and I found out that um I'm actually well I actually am still African American but I'm actually West Indian and our family is from the islands um of Grenada and that's kind of major because for me growing up personally I've always made the ignorant statement that I hated the way that people from the island spoke or I hated the way they were or not the way they were because I don't want to like get beat up or nothing but I'm saying like I just didn't understand it I guess so after now knowing that I am West Indian it really makes me just so curious about who I am and where I come from and for a long time I kind of was like feeling some type of way because I'm like well you know none of my family is like no, like for me to me like nothing super major like nobody's like a judge nobody's like you know big time in this or big time in that and I was just like you know feeling some type of way like man like gosh like why don't we have anybody that's of any sort of power or importance in the world and as I got to know myself more I found out that actually we do you know like um my grandfather is uh was a hustler and uh a lot of men and he's very well respected in New York and I did not find that out until I found out what our family last name was and when I tell people they know who that stems from if it's spelled you know a certain type of way we're all related if it's spelled in a certain type, certain type of way the Frazier family and to find out that pretty much everybody in my family is of power and um all the men are pretty much diplomats and the women are very successful as well it just goes to show me where i get so much of my ambition ambition from and the things that i want to aspire to do you know where i get it from you know because people in my family they already do that like um we have like this big uh, actually this summer my family actually went to grenada i was actually supposed to go but i didn't go because i actually had to work but my family went to Grenada and they were able, my sister were, was able to actually see the grounds where we really come from. And I was just like, it made me very, very appreciative because it's kind of like you, you look at me and you're like, well, I feel so deprived by living like a basic life in America or whatever the case may be. Consider to be basic for me. I feel like not necessarily I live a basic life, but I feel like a lot of things that I have is, is not really a luxury to you know go out to eat it's not really a luxury to do certain things that I do it's just regular like it's just the everyday type of thing for me however she went to um Grenada and she was able to see like the grounds that our family walked on and it was so crazy because they didn't have any roads they didn't have real street signs they didn't have no street lights and I'm just like wow we take so much for granted by being in America and not being appreciative where we come from and i remember when i used to be at my last job a lot of my workers who worked for me were haitian and um the the males treated me like a queen and they really 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 loved me i could not literally drop a pin without everybody running to pick it up like people was like at my feet if my shoe was untied they would tie it like they were so loyal they were so respectful they were so honest and so trustworthy and I was like, wow, like, what, what is it about these people? Like, they were all Haitian, and the women hated me, and I couldn't figure out why. And I had, like, from, from the beginning, I was just kind of like, well, I don't care. I'm here to get a check, and that's the end of the day. But 
as time went on and as I got to know them more, I began to be curious, like, why they all hated me so much. Besides the fact that I had, like, way lighter skin than them, which I think sometimes that do play a role. Um, but it was kind of like they hated me. And it was like I was always, for me, to me, I was always nice to them or whatever the case. Or maybe I didn't even speak to them. They just hated me off, just off of GP, I guess. So one day I actually asked the girl, and I was like, you know, like as they got to know me, they were seeing like, you know, I was very down to earth and whatever the case was. And the perception that they had thought of me wasn't what I was. So I asked the girl, like, you know, basically kind of like, what, um, like, why don't you guys like me? And she told me that it's because I'm unappreciative and I walk around kind of like I got an S on my chest and I don't know where they come from and where they've been and you know how how much they how how appreciative they are to be where they are and it really made me think and it was like well do you know that when we when when um that earthquake happened in Haiti and we needed help and we needed food or we needed service they told us that we had to wait until all of the Americans ate in order for us to eat and I just like sat there like I mean, I guess I never thought about it like that. Like, I guess, you know, like, I never thought about it. And she's like, and you're just sitting here talking about how you're about to go buy a $300 pair of shoes and how you have to do this and how you're about to do that. And you just, you're unappreciative. You don't really care. You know, th th these are things that we've worked our whole life to do, to get a job. And it was like a basic job that they had. They had like a, a regular pay job. I would say no more than $10 an hour. And at that time, I was personally making like $31 an hour. And so for them, they looked at it like, you know who is this girl in a, in a position who knows less than us and she does not even appreciate it and so that kind of made my perspective like wow who do I think I am like I, I for me because I always wanted so much more for myself it was just never enough like it don't matter how much I was making it's never going to be enough because that's just how I am and who I am but for them it was kind of like a thing of having gratitude and being humble with humility and like I, I always felt like I was acting humble because for me to say that I'm buying a $300 pair of shoes, if that's the type of lifestyle that I live, then that's the type of lifestyle that I live. Like for me, that's a basic, that's a, that's something that's in the norm for me to do. But for them, they kind of viewed it as like, almost like, I, you know, like, who do I think I am? Like, like basically they, that's like your whole check. You know what I mean? Like that I'm talking about buying some shoes. And like, I wasn't even talking to them. Like I was like just saying it in casual conversation, but it just goes to show you kind of like you just never know who's listening and you know just just a lot of things but the biggest the biggest point for me was that people blow down so much on being american and say like oh this is you know whatever like it's nothing but at the end of the day we are the cream of the crop and we are people like you have to be appreciative like where you come from and then on to my next point. So we have all of our family members from like all over the world in an email. It's like maybe like I'll say like, a, like 60 people in one email. And over the Christmas season, I was like, this would be a perfect time for me. Like, cause I don't care who knows each other versus who don't. But I'm the type of person I want to be known. But these people who are related to me, I want them to know me. I don't want them to wait. I don't want them to wait to somebody get famous. I'm like hitting people up like, yo, Drake, we're related. No. So I, um... I made like a PowerPoint presentation just introducing myself and you know all the things that I was into and I sent it to everybody and when I start getting phone calls from like London phone calls from like Hawaii phone calls from Atlanta phone calls from California phone calls from Georgia it was insane insane to find out that how do I put this well we basically come from money. We basically come from like success. We basically come from everybody are power figures. Like these weren't just regular people who work at some gas station hitting me up. These were big time producers. These were big time fashion designers. Like I have a fashion designer aunt that lives in London who I knew nothing about my entire life. And because I stepped out the box to introduce myself, I now have access to these people. And most of these family members don't have kids. So they're kind of like so eager to meet me. And it's like after I um I sent the letter in December and like the whole January I was in um like like getting phone calls and they were like inviting me out 
to come to like hang out with them and meet them and stuff like that. And it was it's like very very major because when you have people of that of that nature like if you just google the Frasers in Atlanta you'll know who they are and what they do like it's a big deal so for me I was just so humble and so appreciative to know that I wasn't who I thought I was I'm actually better than who I thought I was and I and I have so many people that are of the same bloodline as me that have the same mindset and the same goals and same ambitions and and these are things that people can't take from you it's major so i think you know my best advice to everybody is to find out where you're from truly like don't just think that you're because all african-american people are not the same we we are we're different brackets because if you look at the west indian culture our culture is very strict our culture is is, is made of ambition like ambitious people our culture is one of leadership our culture is one of honesty integrity it's just it's, it's a big deal and you start to see all of those positive traits that are associated with you instead of those delinquencies and those bad credit and black people are this black people are that that's not who you are that's not what you're associated with you're actually associated with something that's far beyond what you have been introduced to so that's my best advice to like go and find yourself and who you are as a person and because I'm definitely on that road for me and it's just been such a great journey um in exposing you know who I am where we come from what branch we're from and we come from royalty we're the purple we're this we're that it's just it's, it's awesome and Last but not least, I'd like to wish everybody a happy Monday and happy um, Black History Month. I'm like trying all these different colored purples on my nails. I really love this color. I, the first week I had a dark purple. Now I have this color. I probably wear this color for probably two weeks. And even though I agreed not to do the videos every week, I decided that I'm actually going to do them for the next, I think, this week and next week. Because the third Monday is actually my birthday. So I'm like super excited about that. I'll be tw turning 23. So next week I'll probably do my video on greatness. Um, and I just want to thank everybody who has been watching. And um, also please visit me at dopeonthedaily.com where you can get all of my latest updates on everything that's been going on. And it's just truly a great site. It took me a while to like perfect it's not all the way perfected, but it's definitely very close. So I would like to have everyone come out, www.dopeonadaily.com, and you can sign up, become a member, visit the website. You can send me emails. We like to be featured on the website. You can also do that as well. So, again, thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.